One of the really great things about mathematics is that you can use old books to learn math. That's right, it doesn't matter how old the book is, you can pick up the book, you can try to read it, and you can learn mathematics. This book is special for several reasons. First of all, it was written by a man named H.B. Phillips. He was a professor at MIT, which is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And he was a professor there for many years, and then he became the chair. So he was basically the boss of all of the other math teachers at MIT. Another really cool thing about this book is that it's free. It's 100% free. You can find it on the internet for free. And I will leave links in the description of this video to a free version as well as a physical version in case you want to buy it like I did. Another really cool thing about this book is that it has answers to every single problem or almost every single problem in the back of the book. On the inside cover, you can see someone's name was written here. And this person used this book at MIT in 1953. I think that's really, really cool. Here are some of the other books by the legendary H.B. Phillips. You can see he has a book on differential equations, vector analysis, another one called Calculus, and one on analytic geometry. I have most of these books, but I don't have all of them yet. They're pretty hard to find. Analytic Geometry and Calculus by H.B. Phillips, PhD, Professor of Mathematics, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and this is the second edition. Here you can see the copyright. We have 1940, 41, and 42. That was during World War II. And this is the second edition, fifth printing, copyright 1949, printed in the United States of America. Let's take a look at some of the contents here. We have limits and continuity. So it starts with real numbers, points on a line, functions, independent and dependent variables, functional notation, rectangular coordinates, limit of a sequence, limit of a function, angle, limits of trig functions, properties of limits, infinity, continuity, and some fundamental theorems. Notice the page numbers. Notice how quickly it goes. This is a very, very concise book. It's basically like his notes in a book format. And so it goes pretty quickly. I would say it's very, very different from modern books, but the fact it's free makes it a fun read and it's gonna give you a different perspective on calculus. Chapter two is on derivative and differential. You can see some of the topics there. Here's some more of the topics. And I think this book is really good for reading. You might not understand everything you read, which is, typical with most math books. And it's also good as a source of exercises because you have answers to pretty much every single problem. You can go through it and you can get better at calculus. Best of all, it's 100% free. So you don't have to spend any money to access this book. Anyone in the world can pick up this book and start learning calculus. Algebraic equations and graphs, cool, right? Hyperbolas, ellipses, parabolas. That's some really cool stuff. Here it has some topics that aren't even considered calculus that makes it even better. So you can learn other stuff from this book besides calculus. You have some linear algebra here. It talks about determinants. Then you actually have trigonometric functions, exponential and logarithmic functions, and an entire chapter on parametric equations. This is something you'd probably learn in a trig class here in the US. And it just keeps going. There's tons of information in this super concise book. Polar coordinates, vectors, formulas, and methods of integration. Nice, and then we have further applications of integration. Series with real terms. This is something you would learn in a Calculus two course. Then you have an entire chapter on complex numbers. Super cool. Here we have some multivariable calculus. There's an entire chapter on space coordinates and vectors. Then we have a chapter on partial differentiation. Look at all of those topics. Tons of topics, Taylor series, line integrals, directional derivatives, spherical coordinates. Then over here, we have an entire chapter on multiple integration. And of course, answers to the problems, tables, and an index. The fact this book is free and has answers make it an awesome resource. The readability of this book is quite good. I think you're gonna find it very, very different from modern books. The explanations you see in this book are not going to be like the explanations you see in modern books. Here it has the mean value theorem. This is something that you would study in a Calculus I course. At the same time, even though the explanations are different, and perhaps in some cases they might not be as good, in some cases they might be better, and I think it's gonna give you a different perspective. Oh, here's Rawls' theorem. This is super, super powerful. And again, something you would learn in a Calculus One course. Book has a ridiculous number of exercises. Here are some of the problems for the section on trig functions. Look at all of these exercises. You have to graph these equations. I mean, ridiculous. Look at all of these. Wow, 68. It keeps going, 96, tons of problems. This book must have been like 
groundbreaking when it came out because it just has so many problems and you have answers to pretty much every single exercise. Perfect for self-study. Here's some of the exercises on series. So we've got one, two, three, four. Some of these are like little proofs. Let's turn the page, see what else we have. Nine, determine the sum of the first n terms of the series and the sum of the series. And then here we're asked to use the integral test. This is something you learn in calculus too. It just keeps going. I mean, look at all of these exercises. Wow, right, just ridiculous. So really, really a good source of exercises for practice. Like if you're studying for a test and you're in Calc 2, you can take extra problems from this and do them for practice. I mean, it just keeps going. Wow, it just, it's really nuts. You know, and it's very comparable to modern books in terms of the number of exercises. You know, if you look at a book like the one by Stewart or the one by Larson, those books are very famous and widely used today. And they have tons of exercises, but so does this one. And it's free and it's super old and it smells amazing, and I just have to do a little whiff here, just, oh, what an incredible book. Another thing I personally really like about this book is that it has topics besides calculus and topics that you won't find in modern calculus books. For example, an entire chapter on complex numbers. This is not something you would see in a modern book on calculus, but you can get this book 100% for free and you can learn about complex numbers. I think it's especially cool when you find topics like this in calculus books because this is not a hard topic, right? This is something that most people can sit down and learn. Even if you only learn some of this, even if you just struggle through it and you learn some stuff, like you learn what the magnitude is of a complex number, which is also called the absolute value or also called the modulus, even just learning that and learning a little bit of this stuff, it'll help you a lot. And you see how some of the ideas that you learn here in the section on complex numbers translate to other areas of math. The more math you know, the better, and the more math you learn, the easier it is to learn new math. And yeah, just an incredible book. Here you can see some of the answers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, pretty much everything is there. I think it's not there if it's like a graph or if it's a proof, but if they can give a short answer, they will give an answer. Or he, rather. This book was written by one person, the legendary H.B. Phillips. He was the boss of the MIT math professors for many, many years. Look at all of these exercises, 129. Insane. Here are some exercises on integration and they do get much harder. You're gonna find problems in this book that are significantly more challenging than in other books. So most of these integrals are actually pretty easy, but it gets harder when you get to the concept conceptual problems like over here. You have some conceptual problems that can be a little bit more difficult and typically stump people. And H.P. Phillips does a lot of conceptual stuff. I mean, look at all of these problems here. Here you have to find the area and some other things here. Yeah, just tons of exercises. What's this one? Assuming that the force of gravity on a mass m at a distance r from the center of the earth is that, where k is a constant, find the work done by gravity on a 10 pound body when it moves from an indefinitely great distance to the surface of the earth. Wow, really intense stuff, right? So you're gonna find all kinds of things that will make you think and you get answers in this legendary book. A wonderful book and it's 100% free. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to the free version of this book, as well as some print versions in case you want to try to find a copy to add to your collection. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe today. And a couple other things, I do have a Patreon, so if you found value in this video, please consider supporting. I also have an Instagram, which is really, really fun because I can post random stuff there. And I do sell courses through my website, mathsorcerer.com. The courses are actually on the Udemy website, but if you buy them, please use either the links in the description of this video or go to my website. Also, this is a free book, so I'm thinking about making other videos on free books. I have tons of free math books, and I thought, you know what? Maybe I should start talking about free books for a while just to show you all some books that you can get for free. That's right, 100% for free, and it's awesome. Really cool book. Again, the readability is a little bit different from modern books, but the fact it's super old, the fact it's free. As a collector, this was a book that I just had to have, and I just have to give it one more whiff because it just, ah, oh, I love this book. I actually have two copies of this book. I believe I have the first edition somewhere, but I can't find it. Anyways, until next time, good luck, take care, and keep doing math.